Hi everybody, so welcome to a brand new video. Today I'm going to teach you how you can implement Android SDK into your Unity project. Now this video is a bit different than the usual tutorials you're going to see online, mainly because I am going to focus on the issues that you may or may not have when you're going to try to build an APK. Uh, implementing Android SDK into Unity first time, it can be a bit annoying and you know you're going to see some errors um, a lot of the times and sometimes it's gonna work perfectly before we begin it would be awesome if you can click on the subscribe button and leave a comment if this video helped you or not and let's begin okay so first thing you're gonna need to do of course is download unity free version or pro version from the official website after you installed unity you're gonna go ahead and open a new project you're gonna wait a few seconds for it to load up so inside of the unity editor we have a magical window called inside of the edit preferences and then the external tools. This is where the magic happens. You're gonna see SDK path, that would probably be nothing at your side. JDK and NDK, which you don't need at the moment. You're gonna have a download button, which we're gonna click on, and it's gonna go directly to Android Studio download. So you're gonna hit the download Android Studio and hit the download button. Okay, so after you installed Android Studio, it should automatically, at least in this a particular up-to-date video it should automatically downloaded your basic Android tools uh, so no need to actually touch Android Studio again but we're gonna go ahead and now click on edit preferences sorry where is it external tools and go ahead and hit the browse button where it says SDK you're gonna locate the SDK uh, installed path where you actually installed it a few moments ago and click on select folder it should look something as a light in the screen at the moment after you did all of that and you set up the path correctly you're gonna go ahead and open the jdk download button now this is very important make sure to download jdk nothing else no gre no server gre only jdk that's about it hit the download button so after you installed JDK, you're gonna go ahead and hit the browse button, find the location of where you installed it and click on select folder. I'm gonna put again on the video uh, path example so you can know how it looks like more or less uh, if you have any problem with that. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on cancel. You're gonna click on select folder and NDK you can ignore that uh, you don't need that so all you need right now theoretically to build an APK you're gonna go ahead and click on file build settings set it up as an Android uh, project so I'm gonna click on switch platform it depends on your project size it can take a little bit of time and if it's empty as mine then it's gonna take one second you're gonna need to change the package name from company and product name you're gonna need to give it some kind of a name I'm going to be calling it as PTO and subscribe. You're going to go ahead and click on add open scenes, which I already did. Click on the build button and give the APK a name, which I'm going to be calling it as a build. Click on save. So theoretically, it should be working at your computer at the moment, but there is a big chance for it to actually not be working. Uh, there is a big chance for you getting any randomly error from the Android SDK and sometimes it's gonna work perfectly so depends on what happens now on my computer I'm going to respond uh, later on the general issues okay so there you go in my computer at the moment it works perfectly I did absolutely nothing beside downloading the Android SDK and JDK and it works perfectly but in some cases and you know I can even say a lot of cases there will be a lot of issues um, especially in this updated Android Studio download so what you're gonna need to do is actually go ahead and open the link in the description which it's an archive of all the old SDKs. So I'm gonna hit on the download of the 2009. So after you finish downloading the WinRAR you're gonna see that when you open it there is an Android SDK Windows 1.6 version. You're gonna click on open it up and you're gonna have USB driver, tools, platforms, docs, add-ons, release notes and documentation. I'm not sure how to say it. And all you're gonna need to do if you are having the common at least uh, issues is to find the current location of the SDK which is the same path as you have inside of the unity preferences window which is this one um, I'm gonna need to blur mine out but and just 
go ahead and paste everything in the WinRAR, just drag it inside of the folder of your current SDK. I'm not going to do that because I don't really need to, but this is basically how you fix the common issues. So I'm thinking that's about it. Hopefully it works for you guys. If you're having any issues, let me know in the comments below. I will always reply to your comments. I will always try to help you out, guys. Um, if you're having any issues with the building APK, I will probably know how to fix it. And if not, I'm going to uh, give you a good direction to where you need to search online to find the fix for it. So again, let me know in the comments below what do you think about this video. It would be awesome if you can leave a comment, even if it didn't help you, if you want to see any other videos, and maybe hit the subscribe button to just show your support. It would be awesome. So thank you so much for watching this video. Hopefully, I'm going to see you next week with a brand new update of my game. So talk to you soon, and bye.